What's up guys? I'm back working on my kid's first four-wheeler. Pretty excited about this project to be honest. But uh, I just bought it, paid a hundred bucks for it. Put a new brake, put a new master brake cylinder on it. Uh, already drained the brakes. The brakes turned out really good. So I'm already happy with that. Uh, I'm gonna put a new carb and uh, tune the carb if I have to. Hopefully I don't have to. And put a fuel filter, spacer if needed, and a gasket obviously. This already comes with an o-ring i think the other o-ring is for this gasket if i need it anyways uh hopefully this isn't too hard getting us getting underneath this plastic is probably not going to be the funnest be the funnest thing but uh to start off you got to remove the seat um the next thing i'm going to do is try to get to the carburetor through these little holes but these are actually little clip-in things but they pop right out it's like that on both sides and I'm hoping I can show you guys how to do it and get to everything through these anyways I'm gonna set this down and get to it I don't want to have to remove the plastic because that's gonna be a lot of work that I don't want to do and this side does not look like it's gonna be easy to work with motherfucker hopefully that side is and to be honest I think I can get to everything from this side all right, so I'm going to get in here, get closer, and show you what I'm actually doing. Let's see if you can see everything through there. Let me pull you off the stand real quick. Yeah, this is actually going to be simple. So that right there is your carburetor. I wish these plastics came off easier. I might loosen them and lift them up. That's the frame. I'm not trying to pull the fuel tank off. Unless I have to. Is there gas in here? I hope not. It's been sitting for a long time. The gas looks empty. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and remove the gas tank. I think it's going to be easier. And I'm going to remove these plastics so I can show everything better. You want to be very careful not to break those plastics because they're expensive. This right here is the carburetor. That's the air filter for the carburetor. I believe that's the intake. That's the fuel line. That's the petcock. And I'm going to remove all this because I'm actually going to put an aftermarket petcock on it. Since I'm not going to reuse any of it, I might just cut it. <laughs> Fuel line does not feel too bad. A little stiff, but not too too bad from being on. But that's on the bottom of the fuel tank, so I definitely want to pull that off. That will pop right off. But I'm gonna remove this probably 10 millimeter bolt. I'm gonna remove both those. This up top. I don't know if you can see it very well. Let me go underneath, maybe you can get a better view. That's your throttle. This line coming straight down here. That's the throttle. <laughs> this is your overflow. But once you remove this throttle, will actually just twist right off. So that shouldn't be bad. <laughs> it's just gonna be a bitch to get it off. <laughs> but I'm gonna pull the whole carb to get it out. <sighs> Yep, that's already off. And and those two 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter bolts, and this whole carb should just come right off. Here's the are. And they broke right loose. So this nut, this bolt is right in the same spot on the other side. So you might not be able to see me get that off, but it's literally this exact same 10, 10 millimeter bolt. All right. So I got the carb off. 
That's the throttle I was telling you about. Watch out, there's a spring in here. Why is that not coming undone? I don't know. This is for the throttle. Why is all this shit not coming undone? struggling to get the throttle cable off but I need this off anyways that's the intake I need this part off the old one because the intake to be honest I don't even know if I ordered the right carb in there. There we go. Perfecto. Perfecto. Yeah, I think it was just stuck in there. Just old as shit. So the throttle cable actually just pushed it out the bottom. It's actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Ooh. That would have sucked if that would have came out. Oh wait, I actually need to take that off anyways. That needs to come off. I got a new one to put on. Which is this bad boy right here. It's really a plastic boot. That one's probably better, but... I'm okay with this one. Yeah, it's new. I kind of want to use it. So you're going to slide the throttle cable through this spring. You're going to, oh, whoopsie. You're going to compress that spring. It's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. It's a brand new spring. And then your throttle cable has to go through the bottom of this into that hole. Actually, a little hole that it sits in in the bottom. Rah. Let's see if I can show you. Can you see that little hole right there at the top? It actually sits in there. Put that in the top. I'm not sure if I got this, so I'm gonna refilm it. Um, this little throb, this little piece comes out of your new carburetor. So does that needle. So does the spring. This is the cap. You slide that onto the throttle cable. That's your throttle cable sliding through there. That little steel cable. When you're putting this on, you have to decompress this all the way and put that through the bottom, through this little hole, on the, like this little slit on the side. You slide it in through there, and then you put the spring on the inside and you let it go, and that's your throttle adjustment. That's your throttle cable. And uh, now onto your new carb. This is my new carb, but this is the intake. I need to get this plastic piece off so I can put the new one on. And I need to get, I don't know if that's a gasket or not. It looks like a gasket, but I need to scrape all that loose. Use a new razor blade till it's bare metal, put the new gasket on and put the intake back on with those two 10, minute, two 10 millimeter bolts. So now I need to find a way to get this off. Uh, feeling pretty old. Alright, so we break that loose. There's an O ring inside of there. Clean that up. I need some brake cleaner on that too. Okay, 
So when you're putting this back together, there's that little O-ring. You want to make sure you press that in there pretty well. Some people put oil on it or Vaseline. Just make sure it slides in there really well without nicking. This one slid right in. And that's going to go on this side. Carburetor has another O-ring on that side. You want to make sure that's in there pretty well. And then go ahead and start putting all this stuff back together. So now this, my throttle cable back in to my carb. You can pull off the air filter. And there's a little keyway where it's supposed to go all the way in. On the inside, you can see, actually, here, let me show it to you, see if you can see it or not. At the top right up here, there's a little key. Where that's at, actually, there's a little key on that side. But that's what side this slot needs to line up to. And then it should slide all the way in. And you should be able to put your throttle cable, or screw the cap back on it. By the way, it's going to be a little difficult because it's a brand new spring, so it's a little stiff. But once you get it started, it's not too, too bad. Just hold the cable in place and twist it. And then you can actually turn this little cable to whatever way you need to turn it. Once you have it all together, this little gasket comes with the kit also. That's going to be the gasket that goes in between this. And that's the one you put the two 10 millimeter bolts back in through for the bottom of the intake. Alright, so the car is fully installed now. Pretty much just need to run new fuel line. New air filter. I think it's too big, but we're going to find a way to make it fit. To be honest, it barely fits. By like a fucking mill, like a millimeter, literally a millimeter. So this is the new overflow line. Not like the way that sits. It goes down right there. Uh, I don't know if there's a second clamp it's supposed to run through. Probably end up clamping that down real quick. Like I said, that's just the overflow line. And then since I cut that other line off, I'm gonna need to run a new line from the fuel pump and this other carb. I have a line that goes off the other side. All right, so it was just a minute ago I said just install the fuel line, but uh, or you fill, put your fill lines back. But I decided maybe I should just put them in, just so it helps everybody a little more in the videos. These fuel lines are not the funnest thing to put on. They're just really tight. Yes, they're supposed to be, but. It's a, definitely not the funnest things to put on. Then my inlet is actually on the other side. Alright, not sure if you can see it in there or not. Actually, I'm pretty sure you can see it in there. That's actually my new air, my new fuel line going down through an air filter into the inlet side that's actually right behind the throttle on the other side. Not too bad to put on. Not the easiest thing, but you got it done. All right, so that's pretty much it. That's how you install the carburetor. Um, the next video, I'll show you how to remove the aftermarket uh, little manual clutch by your hand and hook it up your clutch cable from the handlebars. Anyways, that's pretty much it. This stuff's back together. I'm gonna check the oil and try to fire her up.